Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video we are going to integrate uh, Clavio with Magento. Both of them I think I don't need to really introduce except uh, especially Clavio. And uh, for this reason we are going to use Zapier, which is a really great integration tool that uh, you can use to integrate basically anything out there. They are providing uh, thousands of uh, applications that can be integrated uh, between each other. So let's go and go to zapier.com. Uh, you obviously need to create an account there. Uh, you can't do it uh, without registration, but it will take like two minutes and it's completely for free. So once you create an account here, uh, you need to log in. And once you log in, you are created by this dashboard. In this dashboard, uh, we want to focus on the top left corner and there's this plus button with create Zap. We click on create Zap. Zap stands for integration. So it's pretty self-explanatory. So it's taking a bit longer. I don't know what's up, but yeah, here we are. Uh, now we are in the level of the two apps itself and we have to start with a trigger. The trigger starts with uh, Clavio. You just simply write down Clavio and all of a sudden the UI will change and we have to pick an event. There's only one event and that's a new one, like new event. You click there, hit continue, and now you have to click an account. So I already uh, logged in into uh, Clavio's Zapier account but once you click there you just uh, simply hit Clavio and sign in and you'll get asked for API keys. API keys are basically a security measures by Zapier and also by Clavio obviously and how to find them. You will have to address two of them. You have to go to your Clavio account and then on the top right corner you get uh, your account here and there you just click with account here we have settings which is a fourth option and then the api keys in the first column you have to copy paste the pub public api key and in the second column you have to go with the private api key you just uh, well, unsee it and then copy paste this one. You put it inside of the Zapier, you click continue and you'll be able to log in into your account at uh, Zapier. Now, once you click continue, there's a uh, set up a trigger. We'll go with the first one, but you really should focus and pick the one that you actually need. Continue. And the last option is you have to uh, test the trigger between Clavio and Zapier itself. We test the trigger. But um, this Clavio account has no um, information in that, in them, no data. So when we just skip test, uh, basically we have nothing to like <laughs> test it on. So we get automatically green flag. Once you hit the last continue button, we are going for the second one and that's action with action we write down magento here we uh, choose an event like create a category for example we click continue and now we have to sign in to magento from now on it's the same procedure as uh, it is with clavio so guys like two steps away so if you have any types of questions Please leave them underneath this video. Thank you guys for watching and uh, see you in the next one. Thanks and goodbye.